I got the lighting right this time. I didn't want to wash my face out completely and I didn't want to have the, you know, myself backlit and I didn't want to have myself the back too bright or anything like that. We're kind of going on the Irish expansion. Let me move this aside for a moment. There. Um, Broken Whistle. That's the uh, name of a, a group of young musicians out of Spokane, Washington, who play uh, Irish music, and they're really good. I saw them at a, at a music festival last year, and um, the reason why I'm wearing their t-shirt, I suppose, is because we're still talking about the Irish expansion of my bar. There were a lot of Irish whiskeys that uh, appeared suddenly on the scene earlier this year, and uh, this here bill is from the 25th of of March so we're about two months beyond that right now or almost two months and on the back of that is my recipe for what I put into my jungle juice um, of the previous uh, video now the thing is yeah music and whiskey go together so yeah no, there's 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 Irish music and Irish whiskey which I'm going to talk about really soon and the the jungle juice well uh, I was uh, the, the intro for my video is a uh, Alabama song, and I didn't know that Alabama song was written by Bertolt Brecht. And as soon as I saw uh, Jackass Whiskey and Pinto Beans' uh, uh, comment, he said, uh, ah, Bertolt Brecht. And I go, yeah, what? <laughs> you know, and he says, and he said, well, he, he said, uh, Bertolt Brecht wrote the song. And then he sent me a link to... Uh, uh, a video which was basically a, a still photograph with uh, Kurt Weil and Lottie Linia singing uh, Alabama song from 1930 and as soon as I heard that I got turned on to it I was listening to it over and over two versions uh, one by Lottie Linia herself and one by Kurt Weil and Lottie Linia and and uh, and then I was putting on a German accent and everything because I'd had a few drums already and, you know, it was just uh, just a good time, and so yes, music and whiskey do go together, and uh, yeah, here we are with the Irish expansion. Some more. I'm not done yet. This one here is a Jameson crested, and uh, you know, I thought Jameson was just Jameson, and then they came out with the uh, the cask mates, which is uh, Jameson, which is finished, I think, in uh, or was it aged completely in a in a stout barrel from a brewery. And that was interesting, although not as light as the uh, Jameson's uh, original. And this one here is the Jameson Crested. And what it says about this is, hopefully there's enough light in here. Uh, we didn't always bottle our own whiskey, but sold it in casks to blenders for bottling. In 1963, we took control of the whole process. Crested is a tribute to the first drops bottled by us and combines vivid sherry notes with hearty pot still spices. Ah. So once again, this is a look at the Jameson Crested. And I will find out how to open or figure out how to open this. Oh, it's got a plastic thing on it. There must be perf... No, I can't pull it off just like that. There must be perforation somewhere. Somewhere. Let's hasten the process a little bit. Yeah. That's coming off a bit easier. They really don't want you to get up, get at this if you're under drinking age. Uh, come on, there, the plastic thing is gone, it's off, there it is. 
This has a cork and it's got a seal too, if you can see that. It's got a seal. Seal goes right. Oh, it's. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. Good thing this isn't carbonated. Yuck, I hope I didn't break much. No, I don't think so. <laughs> My bowl is still there. Okay. Uh, the seal is on one side. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. There we go. Made the cork a little wet with that fall, though. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't quite as extreme as uh, whiskey whistle, but I had my little spill. Yeah, I didn't spill anything. I just just had a little drop, and it's uh, just after just after ten o'clock. So hopefully, I didn't wake the neighbors much. Yes, this is a clean glass. <laughs> Jameson crested. Okay. Now. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, well, the light isn't too bright in here, but it's got a little bit of a sherry, sort of amber reddish, sherry tint. I don't know if it's colored or not. What else does it say about it? Forty percent alcohol by volume and seven hundred fifty mils. John James, John Jameston, and Son. Oh, John Jameson and Son. Yeah, celebrating Bow Street. I think that's the Bow Street Distillery, uh, and it's triple distilled naturally. All right. Mm. Right away, I'm getting caramel and vanilla. I'm getting fruits. Berries. I don't know. I've been getting a lot of berries lately. And the fruits are cherries, plums, pineapple, banana. Oh, this is lovely. This has a beautiful nose. Beautiful nose. Let's cleanse the palate. I think there were a few drops of the uh, grain spirit and tonic left before I put water in here. Yeah, just a hint, hint of the grain spirit. That's okay. It's mostly water. It cleanses the palate. Ah. Oh. Yeah, very nice. A nice balance of caramel, some vanilla, not too much though, and the fruits, the berries, pineapple, banana, cherry, a bit of pear in there too, but more medium fruits, not too much in the way of dark fruits, maybe a bit of red grapes before they're fermented, before they, they get dried out. Juicy. The taste. Mm hmm. A fruity explosion. Caramel vanilla and fruits on the sides, caramel and vanilla more in the middle. And it's um, very mouth-watering, very fruity, very alive, very young. There's no age statement on this as far as I know. Uh, nope. No age statement is at all, but it uh, it tastes quite pleasant and it's a little stronger tasting than I would have given it 43 percent but it's 40 very nice this crested what did I pay for 
Um, crested. $42.99 and $49.44 with all the taxes included. So, 50 bucks. This is good for 50 bucks. Of course, it's a little more expensive than your regular Jameson's, but it's got a lot more flavor to it. <sighs> yeah, and that nose, that nose is wonderful. It's got the Jameson's and more fruits, more fruity than your regular Jameson's. More caramel and vanilla too. And now, as it's been sitting there for a while, it's been opening up a little more. I'm getting some apple and cinnamon too now that it's been open for a while. A lot of the other fruits have faded or moved to the side. Still a touch of pineapple in there. And the aftertaste is a little bit of white pepper and cinnamon. It's spicy. Spicy towards the end. The fruits are gone and the aftertaste is spicy. Yeah. White pepper, um, cinnamon, very nice, and slancha. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>